Well, Pride Month may be coming to a close, but the celebration continues. In mid July, Philadelphia will be hosting the largest ever Stonewall Sports National Tournament. It's designed to lift up the LGBTQ community through sports. Howard Monroe has our coverage. There's something special here in Philadelphia that I think. Um, our community comes together in a way that maybe isn't always replicated in other cities. And Philadelphia will be able to show off just how special it is when it hosts the 2023 Stonewall Sports National Tournament. The local chapter of Stonewall Sports is hosting the event. It's their ninth and largest tournament. Eric Cottrell is director of operations for the event. This is great opportunity to show what Stonewall Philly means to the other chapters across the the country. The LGBTQ community-based nonprofit has 26 chapters across the country. Sports include dodgeball, bowling, billiards, and kickball, among others. Locally, the kickball seasons are played Sunday afternoons at Marconi Plaza in South Philly. Philadelphia also has one of the largest chapters. Matt Forrest is the commissioner. There's a charm to Philadelphia. I think most people who live here would say we're a little underrated um, based on what people know about us. And so this was a way to show off our community um, and also the city at large. Now, there are many sports leagues here in Philadelphia that you can join playing anything from kickball, baseball, even soccer. However, they say that this league is more than just about sports. Stonewall is about taking one of the largest cities in the country and making it feel like you have a very specific place for you. It's just really finding your place in a large city. It, it helps you feel like you've got a spot, that you've got a family, you've got support. Registration for the tournament is at max capacity, but non-sports related events will be held throughout the weekend of July 14th at several different locations. Excited to show off what Philadelphia has in our arts and our culture and our food scene. Howard Monroe, CBS News, Philadelphia.